So, how are you showing up today? It's Thursday, it's May, it's sunshiny here in Utah. Is it where you are? And even if the sun is shining outside, how's it going on on the inside? How are you showing up? Like, we talk about that like it's something easy. Let's talk about it like it's real, shall we? For those of you who I've not yet met in person, my name is Amber Griffiths, and I am a brand strategist and a maker of legends. I want to know how you're showing up today. So let's get right to it. Grab your legend pack, crank that speaker to 11. Welcome to legend. How are you showing up today for reals? Like, how do you show up when you're feeling overwhelmed, confused, uncertain, when you're not in a place of absolute confidence? How do you show up or do you? Do you just take a day and say, you know what? It's just not happening. I'm not feeling it. Today is not the day for this. We often don't have that luxury, do we? Not as entrepreneurs, not as women, not as people. There's too many things riding on it. So we don't usually get to do that. But how do you show up? We, we always talk about this persona and, and everything that goes into it, all the different layers and all the different facets that go into it, your language and, and, and your mannerisms and, and your visuals. And we talk about it in a way that it's like this Wonder Woman thing, right? Like your feet planted firmly, hands around your hips, shoulders back. Like, come on world, bring it. Like that's the kind of stance we think of when we talk about persona. We talk about this as women. We talk about how specifically, like, especially I think because it's, it's that ideal, it's that this is what we want to be. This is how we always wish it was. We feel, we talk about it like, this is the day I'm on top of the world. I've got it all together. I am owning my own stage. But what if that's not what today is? What we sometimes miss, or sometimes, let's be honest here, let one but you intentionally skip over, is what about when we're not sure? What happens when we feel a little overwhelmed, when we're trying to figure out who we are, how we want to show up? When we've been taught to people please, so there are expectations of how we show up and when we show up and what we do when we show up. And it's not, maybe it's one of those days when handling the negative comments from others or ourselves just isn't something we're up for right now. How do we show up then? Go ahead, feel free, drop a comment below. Just drop me a note and, and say, you know what, Amber, this is how I'm feeling. Let's talk about it for a second. How do you show up when it's a less than spectacular day? How do you show up when you know there's this perception of, okay, it's my Facebook Live day. I've got to be energetic. I have to have all these things going on. Really, what you want to do is just grab a big blanket and sit in the middle of the room and, and just have, have a downtime. Or maybe you just... If one more person gets on your phone <laughs> and yells at you, you're like, I have lost it. I'm going to lose my stuff in front of God and everybody. If one more person on my phone says anything other than thank you so much for what you've done. If I hear anything else, if I hear anything less than that, today's the day I'm going to lose it. How do you show up then? Tell me what you're doing. Tell me how you're, tell me how you're handling this. Do you hide it? Do you act like it's not a thing? Do you act like, no, 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 no. Everything is great. That. My friend, this is the great difference between a persona and a facade. Just so you know, they are two different things. Do you act like it's not a thing? Do you act like I've got it all? I understand my stage is crumbling, but it is my stage. I own this stage. <laughs> Everything's fine. Or do you reveal it? And maybe you reveal it a little bit. Maybe you reveal a lot. Maybe you only reveal it to your closest people. Maybe on a Facebook Live, everything's fine. But in a group or a small group or a one-to-one -one coaching, it's, here's all my stuff. How are you handling that? Go ahead. Just drop me a note. Do you bleed all over any audience you come upon? Are you, are you being stoic or are you being swing clear to the pendulum to clear to the other side and, and it just all comes out at the slightest breeze? How do you show up? Now, here's another question for you. I get it. I, like, I, I want to make sure that you focus on you because this part's critical. You get to know how you show up and is it intentional? Do you accidentally, hello, Sunil, do you, do you, is it intentional or do you show up like, for example, here we are, we're gonna do a Facebook Live. Do you think, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, here we go. It doesn't matter what's going on, I'm gonna just block that out. Here we go and live. Or do you think, okay, today's one of those days. Today's one of those days where I'd rather eat a bug than be in public. 
And so here are the three things I'm going to do to strategically show up like everything is fine. Or do you just let it all out? You know what? Today's just, this is how it's going to be. Don't really care. Like it, love it. It's, it's that kind of a day I want you to see who I really am. How are you showing up in those moments? Then slight step over. How is your audience showing up? Realizing that everyone is your audience in your audience, whether they're clients or they're soon to be or they never will be. Realize that they're human, which means how are they showing up when they're not confident, when they're not certain of the next right steps? Maybe they're teetering on the edge of overwhelm. How are they showing up? Do you recognize it? Can you see it when you talk to them? Can you see it in their face? Can you hear it in their voice? Today's a good day. I got this. Or today's kind of a, a show, <laughs> kind of a crap show, but I'm holding it together. Please don't talk to me too much because I will lose it. Do you notice that? And how do you respond to it? We've talked about the legend response system in so many other levels. This is one of those things too. How are you, how are you addressing the way your audience is showing up? Sometimes in all the right ways and all the right things, the way you show up actually models for them how to do it. When you show them how, when you show them the way you're doing it, whether that's total stoicism or here's my story, regardless of how you decide to do it, when you do it, when you show them how you create a safe space for them to show up authentically as well. So drop me a note. Let's talk about this for a second. Most of us, most of us are human and we are not given the luxury of a typical rock star where if the sound goes funky, the video goes out, the lighting goes sideways, we get to do over, right? We get a second chance to show up. It's incredible. We just cut, cut, roll it back, get everybody back in place. Let's try this again. We don't get to stop mid flow and scold the audience for not paying attention or criticize the staff for not adequately, adequately supporting us. We just push through. We don't have the luxury of calling cut and doing it a second time. Maybe, probably, it's a good thing we don't have that luxury. Mean entrepreneurs should never be a thing. But what do you think? How are you modeling for your clients and your audience? It's more true this year than most. Issues with, with COVID, with quarantines and vaccines and masks, oh my, they're happening so often that it's like changing your socks. Right? It's it's just become this common thing. Is it is it now commonplace or does it rock your world every time something new comes up? Somewhere in the middle. How are you dealing with all of that? How are you showing up? Where you show up, when you show up, how are you showing up to share all of that with the rest of us? At what level do we get to come in? At what level are you modeling whatever it is you're showing up as? And how are your clients showing up through all of that? I know we talk about a lot that overwhelm, right? It's a big word. And we've talked about how sometimes that's not actually the right word. Sometimes it's just, we don't know what steps to take next. We're not quite certain of where to go. So it feels like overwhelm because we got stuck in the hell. I know overwhelm can be a big word. So ask yourself for just a moment. Do you, do you ever want to be underwhelmed? Somewhere along the line, we decided that overwhelm was good and underwhelm was bad. Maybe, maybe that's not quite the case. Maybe it's a little mix of both. Maybe if we properly defined overwhelm and underwhelm, maybe what we seek after is a little bit different. So feel free, drop me a note. Say, you know what, Amber, I show up. Makeup is always on, hair is always in place. I totally got this. I say, you know what? Hey, Vicki, today is one of those days I usually am completely put together, but I can't cancel my meetings. So today I'm here. I've got a box of tissue. I've got my stress ball. In my hand. I know there's a cocktail at the end of this somewhere. I know there's sunshine and a walk in nature somewhere at the end of this to help me get through it. So how are you showing up? What are you modeling for your audience? How are they showing up and how are you recognizing it? Go ahead and drop me a note. We can have a conversation about it. So until I get to see you there, until I see you and how you're showing up on your own road to legend, rock on.